Yo, what's up? Duff here, sitting at my dining room table that is very rarely used. I'm sitting here to do a review of my helmets, and specifically the helmet that I just bought, the LS2 Valiant 2, but I wanted to go through all of the helmets that I have, so uh, you get an idea of, I have too many. I need to get rid of some, to be quite honest with you. And this is, uh, this, this is all inspired by my man, Tommy, also known as EUC Vibes. If you guys are not subscribed to Vibes already, you should think about it. Uh, he has some great content. Am I recording right now? Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah. I'm on my Sony ZR1, so I don't record on it very much. Okay, so let's talk about helmets. When I first got into uh, PEVs, I wore exclusively skater helmets. And the first helmet that I had was similar to this. This is a triple eight skater helmet. My original one was kind of more grayish. And here comes Elsa. Hi, Elsa. You know, this, this is a, a decent helmet for low speed protection. Uh, again, designed more for skateboards, not uh, PEVs, especially modern day PEVs. But now when I ride uh, something like a one wheel, uh, I, might, I might still opt for something like this. I don't think I ever wore a full face riding a one wheel. So I have this, I have my triple eight. I'm a fan of triple eight products as you will see. This is one that you've probably seen a lot that has all the stickers on it, got my mirror on it. Again, this is a triple eight in white. But again, this is another triple eight. I'm the type that likes to have a mirror on my helmets. Uh, again, this um, primarily I would wear for the um, riding the one wheel, maybe a swamp ride, you know, where I'm just going slow. But again, this is not really suitable for modern day high speed electric unicycle or other uh, P high speed PEVs. And then finally, I don't even know why I bought this. I have another one of these skater type helmets, but this is a 187 killer pads. Uh, my my uh, wrist guards are 187s. Killer 187s and uh, I have a Killer 187 helmet. I don't really remember why I bought this. I don't know um, if I'll ever wear it. So um, if you need a, is this extra large? If you need an extra large Killer 187 helmet, let me know and I'll send it to you. All right, so now we're moving into the full face. Oh no, I'm sorry, we're not. We have one more, one more skater type helmet. This is the um, Exnito, Exnito. Helmet. This is one that was sent to me for eval. Has some interesting color combinations to it. Has a light in the back, you know, built-in light in the back, so that's cool. See if I can figure out, okay, turned it off. And it also has a light in the front as well. Uh, this is a helmet that I let Christine borrow uh, once in a while with her one wheel. She got, her, she got her, her own helmet now, so it's a nice helmet. It's kind of different um, color scheme, but again, only suitable for lower speed riding. This is not the kind of helmet you want to wear when you are uh, riding a high speed device. And by high speed, I would say anything that you're consistently going over, I don't know, 15 miles an hour, I would kind of consider that high speed. So then my first full face helmet I ever had, <clears throat> and I still have it, I still like it. Um, this is my triple eight. This is another triple eight helmet. Triple eight full face. Uh, I usually wear these goggles with it. I kind of like the way it looks and it gives me nice Eye protection keeps my eyes protected from uh, flying objects. Uh, keeps my, my identity anonymous, right? That's very important. And it probably has the most stickers of any helmet that I own as well. So I kind of like that. Uh, it's relatively light. Again, this is not, this is not uh, ideal. Like this isn't, this isn't DOT rated. This is probably be classified as like a mountain bike helmet, probably. This is not a DOT rated helmet, it is, this is, uh, probably under geared for high speed. Well, not probably it is, it's, it's, it's not enough helmet for high speed riding. You'd want something a little bit more substantial than this. Uh, but for uh, lower stuff, um, it's not bad. And like I said, I'm, I'm kind of sentiment, sentimentally attached to it. And again, I have attached a rear view mirror to this helmet as well. All right, let's move on to my Scorpion, my Scorpion XO. Um, this is a helmet that I bought uh, after seeing Marty. Uh, Marty has uh, an XO as well. And the whole reason I bought this was because, you know, I, I wanted to wear full face helmets because I was riding faster and faster. But anyone that knows me knows that I like to uh, drink coffee when I ride. With a full face helmet, that's not so easy. You can't really do that, right? Um, but with the um, Scorpion, it has the ability to raise the chin bar up 
and out of the way like this. So you can uh, move the chin bar out. Um, someone someone uh, left a comment today because I talked about this in my last video. They said, hey, you're not supposed to even ride with, uh, ride with it in the up position. It's dangerous if you would crash. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. But I, I bought it to drink coffee, so that's the way I would have to do it. But not only does it look kind of weird in the up position, um, it also, the way it's, it's angled, it kind of catches wind. So like if I was doing uh, 30 miles an hour down the road, my, this, this would be pulling back on my head constantly. Not a, not a great thing. But I've had this helmet for a number of years. Um, this, this is a, a DOT rated helmet. It's a good helmet uh, for protection, but it, it, never, it never really scratched that itch for the ideal uh, helmet for me to be able to uh, move the chin bar out of the way and be comfortable at the same time. This does have some nice features. You know, it has the, of course it has a windscreen, but it also has, uh, this is another feature I always thought was cool, was the, the flip down sun, uh, sunshade. So you don't really need uh, sunglasses when you're wearing this either. So that's a nice feature of the XO. And this was an expensive helmet when I bought it several years ago. Okay, uh, one of the most recent helmets I bought was this, a Bell Super Air. Um, this helmet is lightweight. Um, it uh, allows a lot of ventilation. So it's a, rel a relatively cool helmet. It has a action cam mount on the top. And um, this is, this is a MIPS helmet. It is not DOT rated. Uh, this would not be ideal for uh, high, high speed riding. I wore this when I went into the swamp with Dawn. Uh, very good for that. Nice big open um, area around the face. You can easily get sunglasses on with this. Uh, Bell Super Air is nice. It is expensive. I think this was, I think this was, this was I don't know, 250 bucks, which is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of expensive. The, um, the chin bar on this also can be removed if you want to. It's not exactly uh, convenient, but you can remove the chin bar. Um, so if you did want to drink coffee with this, you could. You could pull the chin bar, stick it, I don't know, wedge it in your pants and uh, drink your coffee and then put it back on. So yeah, Bell Super Air, decent helmet. All right, so now this brings me to the whole point of this video is talking about my new LS2 Valiant 2 helmet. And this was a helmet that, uh, that I only found out from watching one of uh, Tommy's videos, the UC Vibes, because uh, he was doing much the same, going through his, his various helmets, the pros and cons. And uh, it is not cheap. I bought this on Amazon. It was $359, so it was not cheap at all. Um, but uh, despite the high price, I am pretty happy with what I've gotten so far. I wore it on, on the ride I just did yesterday. And... Um, Let's, let's get it out. Let me just show you. This is, this is how it comes. When you open the box, it's in this big, fancy bag. This, I mean, look at this thing. It has freaking back straps. Oh, you know what? I just realized. Whoa. I'm like, okay, well, it's nice. Oh, wow. I can be dense sometimes. I'm like, oh, well, it's nice that they give you a, a bag for your helmet, but I'm not going to carry my helmet around in a bag. What I just realized is, look, it's, it's, it's a full-on backpack. Ooh. Take, you don't need to take your helmet in this. Here's a nice little mini backpack uh, for you, uh, for your rides. Shit. Okay, great. Um, so, okay, it comes with a nice backpack. Uh, several pockets in here. But then you open it up. <clears throat> Inside, the helmet is in yet another container. Another high-quality uh, bag. It says uh, LS2 helmets. So you have this bag. So, again, if you are into bags... If you, if you want to put something in a bag inside your backpack, you can do that. Very nice quality bag. It's uh, cinchable, has a cinch, uh, a cinch rope on it, so you can close it up. And then here is the helmet itself. No, obviously this is not just out of the box because I wore it yesterday, but here is the helmet itself. A very cool looking helmet in my opinion. I got the white, Tommy got the black. For me, living in Florida, I think white is probably a better choice just because the heat and stuff kind of reflects the heat. Again, it has the retractable windscreen. Easy to operate, has some vents that you can open and close on the, on the top of it. Um, it has a visor, it has a visor that you can drop just like the Scorpion. Very similar there. Um, but the thing that I really, really like about this helmet is the way the chin bar works. When you pop the chin bar, it doesn't stay at the top, it goes all the way to the back. And it almost looks like part of the helmet, right? It, it, it doesn't look like it's just uh, 
just stuck awkwardly in a, in a weird angle. It kind of integrates with the helmet, which I think is great. It's out of the way. Um, I also noticed that with me, at least, this is an extra large. For me, I found it easier to put it on with the chin bar up, you know, because it's a tight helmet. And then you can just rotate this down. Super easy. So I kind of uh, like doing it that way. You don't have to do it that way, but that is the way that I have chosen to do it. When it's on, it's very snug, like it should be. Um, and, but I have great vision, and this is a, this is a tinted visor. One, tinted visor. Um, and yesterday I was riding in bright sun at times, and it was totally fine. Another nice thing about this, let's pop that out of the way, is it has a latch system that's super easy, chin strap system. You know, like with my Scorpion, it's kind of a pain. Uh, like if I have gloves on, it's impossible for me to, to put the chin strap on just because of the way you have to put it around the hook and then loop it back. And this is just a, a little tooth, a tooth, uh, gear or whatever you want to call it and just insert it in there however you need it to be tight and you're 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 secure that's it to release it you just grab this little um red cord pull it up releases it I've, I've never had a helmet that has this feature but now that i do i don't know that i want one that does not have it at least with full face um, it, this is a dot rated helmet has a five-year warranty it also comes with it also comes with down so it, so the visual looks cooler right there we go it also comes with this a pin lock a pin lock film i guess this is designed to keep your windscreen from fogging uh, if you apply this it keeps your windscreen from fogging i rarely ride with my windscreen down because i live in florida um, but if you live in colder climates this might be very helpful for you it also comes with it comes with, this is a, okay, this is a bag. And then it comes with this. This is like a, this is like a blow up. It, it says on here, this is a helmet support. I, I, I don't know what you would do with this. I guess you would, you blow it up and then put it around your neck or something, I guess. So it doesn't, I don't know. It, it sounds odd to me, but I've never seen a helmet that comes with this, but it does come with this inflatable helmet support. So. If you're into inflatable helmet supports, uh, LS2 has you covered. And of course it comes with a, a cool sticker as well. Uh, there's no manual in there. The manual is, um, is available online. I'm just trying to think if there's any other features that I've missed on this. I mean, it's just, it's weird. When I put it on, I thought that it felt uh, significantly lighter than my Scorpion XO. Like, like the way it, I don't know if it's the way it bounces on my head, but it felt lighter than my XO. But in reality, when I, I put these both on the scale, the XO was 4.2, uh, four pounds, two ounces. This was four pound, one ounce. So this is only one ounce lighter, uh, which uh, it, it really is surprising. And even when I hold it, I hold one in each hand, the Scorpion feels significantly heavier. I don't know why that is, uh, but, they, but in reality, they are very close in weight. So, but whatever, maybe it's just balanced better. I don't know, but it feels good on your head. All right, so that's gonna, that's gonna cover my helmet collection and my newest helmet for that collection. I'll include a link uh, to the, um, the location on Amazon where I bought this if you're interested in uh, purchasing one yourself. I do not have an Amazon affiliate link anymore. That's a, that's a subject for another day, um, but I will provide the link that you can buy one if you want. Like I said, it's not cheap, $359. Uh, this is, I think my XO was probably closer to 300, my Scorpion. So I believe this is probably the most expensive helmet I've ever bought. That being said, this is hopefully going to be the last full face helmet that I buy uh, in a, for a very, very long time uh, because I, I think I'm going to be very happy with it. So that's all I have, guys. Um, if you found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. Uh, if this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you hit the notify bell. It's over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. What are your thoughts about helmets? What are your thoughts about this helmet specifically? Um, you know, as, as the years have gone by and the speeds of vehicles have increased, my thoughts about uh, helmets have changed. So uh, this is, I think this is a worthwhile investment because you only have one brain, you only have one head, so you kind of want to protect it, right? Yeah, that's, that's really all I have. Tomorrow, um, I might be doing not one, 
but two unboxings, which is going to be weird, right? It's going to be, it's going to be weird, but there's a good chance I'll be doing two wheel unboxings tomorrow. And in addition, um, I might be doing a wheel trade uh, as well uh, in the upcoming weeks. So yeah, there's, there's some weird things going on right now um, in multiple ways. So that's all I have, guys. I hope you have a great, what is today? Today's Monday. I hope you have a great week. And until uh, next time, talk me now.